Good morning. It is Wednesday. It was raining out this morning. So I put the guys on hold and it looks like there's more storms and rain on the way. So I'm going to call it a day. I'm having Daryl come in. He's going to help me run some errands. We got to clean some stuff up and then we're going to go pick up an exercise machine and assemble it that I bought. It's a rowing machine and uh, I started dieting a couple days ago. I know roll your eyes like, yeah, you started a diet like 10 times already on video and failed every one of them. Uh, this time is going to be different for sure. I'm going to talk about that. I have a very very good motivation which i'll explain uh in i don't know one of the upcoming videos but not today so i'm gonna run a bid right now in waukesha wisconsin and then i'm gonna go back to the yard and meet up with daryl hey buddy hey what's up man how's it going thank you morning jewel morning, how are you? good i hope there's some house blend Are you sure? It's empty. Oh, you got you just starting to brew it? Yeah. Oh, right now. You must have seen me pull up. How come you're all tatted up on your knuckle? This? Yeah. Oh, that's my tattoo, and then I busted my knuckle open. Oh. Did you get that in prison or no? Uh, no. I got <laughs> married, so I guess the next closest thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Just calling Daryl. Yeah, hell no. You called? Yep. Why don't you come in at 9? Come in at 9? Yeah, come in at 9. I got some stuff we got to do. All right, so I just pulled up on this estimate. It was for a driveway, but it's not much of a driveway. It's right on the alley. It's more of an approach to a garage. If I knew it was this small, I probably wouldn't have even came out here. I'm more than a half an hour away from my yard, and I am so busy and have such a backup right now, I'm picking and choosing the jobs that I really want, and this isn't gonna be one of them. So I'll price this one really high, and you know, I won't get the job and that'll be just fine with me. If he does take it, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to do it. But this isn't really what I'm looking for. All right, we're at Johnson Fitness to pick up my rowing machine. The guy was pretty cool in here last time. How's it going? You got my rowing machine? Oh, you're all ready for me. All right. I just need a signature and a date. All right. Sounds good. And then we'll wheel this bad boy out, get you loaded up. <laughs> I'm doing some exercise. There you go. You need exercise. I seen you try to use that jackhammer yesterday. <laughs> Lift it up. Got it? All right, thank you, man. Have a good, have a good day. I got tools at my house. We'll just put it together right away. Oh heck yeah! He said it's really easy to put together. And me and you are super smart, so. Oh exactly. Man, these are some confusing instructions. Did we do step one? You think it's really backwards? Yeah. Okay. See, because look at the. The very first thing we did, and it was backwards. <laughs> in the carton lid and polyfoam as shown in the diagram below. That's got to go on the front. Are you sure? Yeah, look. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Good. That wasn't good. No, that's in there. Take that off. Yeah, it went in there, in there. We'll flip it upside down. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, the bolt's in there that we need. Still in there. Got it. Oh, it shows right here. It's in step eight. Is there any more pieces? Just the plastic pieces in the seat. It hits the back. See that? That's disappointing, honestly. I mean, I'm not a giant. I'm I'm not even 6'4". Should have a little bit like an extra inch. You know what I mean? There's no adjustments. That's it. It is what it is. I've never been on a rowing machine that it bottomed out at the back like that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you still have five inches. Yep. Let me take my boots off once that'll give me a half an inch. I'm just barely not hitting right now. Yep. I mean, it's right. Like, it basically kisses it every time I go back. You know what it's just cool. barely. Because if the seat could go back a little. Uh huh. So you could. You could oblong out the holes. Or you could just re drill holes in the metal part, too. Yeah, that's yeah, about all I, that's all I could get is probably a half an inch, see? Yep. Not even. Less than a half an inch. But oh. I think that would give you your clearance. Yeah, probably. We'll just put it together and then we're going to get out of here. I'll do that another day. A little disappointed, but once I get that half an inch adjusted, it should be all right. What are you... You're... Are you going down? Oh, wow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're, you should be glad my wife is not here because she would have had a fit if she saw you do that. <laughs> We're going to have to take the boxes with us. The big box we'll have to put in the dumpster. I got to grab some stuff from back here. Oh, my boat. My poor boat never gets used. We're going to go on vacation this summer. Hopefully I'll be able to get the boat out. I never get to use my boat anymore. All I do is work, work, work. Uh, because the... Because of what? This right here. That used to have one of these on. Uh-huh. See, it's just a female spade. Uh-huh. But it's on a 90 degree angle. Yep. I've never seen one of those and I don't even know where to buy them. At the, you get them at the hardware. I've seen them before. You've seen these? Yeah, I've seen those all the time. Yeah. Well, I got to get one for this side. It rusted right off. And where does it go? Uh, oh, right there. Right, one here and one here. Yeah, they got those. Well, let's get them and put back together so we can take this thing out. This is where I stamped that patio. I know. <laughs> In the snow. Stamps are still back here. I think my wife said something the other day. <laughs> well, it is April. <laughs> I like that sidewalk. Who did that? That's nice. It's professional. I know. That sidewalk is like semi-famous though. It is. Guys were using it on TikTok and everything. <laughs> they, they were. All right, we just put everything away here at the yard. Got everything out of the bed of my truck. And uh, we're going to go to lunch and I got a couple more stops to make after that. Stopping by the mechanic here. I still don't have my annual DLT inspection stickers. I asked him to do it, but he's busy. I'm going to ask him again. Mr. Bo! There he is. That's him out of Oh, there you are. Oh, Junior's not here. No, no, they shut the water off. Oh, you're actually being serious. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I don't have any water. Uh, when can you do those annuals on the trucks? Next week. Okay. Or can you give me the seat and... Uh, I, can I already ask. asked him that. He said no. <laughs> and get yep. Back at B-52 is my favorite restaurant. I'll, I'll have my regular med, med, med salad. salad, yeah, no olives. Honey mustard. Oh, Be, besides Lynette, I'm probably the second best customer ever. What'd you say? Yeah, you're getting close. I'm, I'm one of them. You're getting close. Top 10 for sure. Uh -huh. Lynette, I would and say, is the champion though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's Lynette's a champion. champion. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. never catch her. Times day sometimes. I know. Yeah, that's Five, great. depending on how yeah, long you work. On, yeah. It seems like every she's, she's not, not she's not here, which is unusual. Yeah. She's oh, here. She'll be here. Oh, I know. I told my little daughter that I was on a diet, and she rolled her eyes. She's like, "Yeah, right, Dad, again." <laughs> oh. I'm gonna lose 50 pounds. When did you weigh before? Like that the last year, you did. Probably 280. Now I'm 310. That makes a difference. Yeah, that makes a difference. If I can get to like 260, that would be perfect. So, cause 300 was the heaviest I've ever been. I've been 300 two other times in my life. I've never been 310. This is the heaviest I've ever been. 
salad. It is. Take those Thank back. You. Just too tempting. Thank you. When you get to be an old guy, you get picky. I know. Whoa. No. Oh. Stop it. He's <laughs> trying to tempt me. Hi, Lynette. Hi. Have a good day. Okay, what's your light on? What's that? What's that light for? It's a camera. For what? To make you famous. Home Depot. I'm going to grab a bunch of two by fours for forms. And then I'm going to try to find some siding or some type of masonite to use for the side of those curved steps that we're about to set up in a couple days. Daryl's coming with the form truck. Now to find some straight two by fours. Ay ay ay. That ain't gonna cut it. Oh my goodness. I hope they're gonna get better. I've not found one good two by four yet. These are the most crooked two by fours I've ever seen in my life. I mean, look at that thing. One, we got one. All right. They should just, oh wow. <laughs> this one's not bad. This one's right on. <laughs> oh boy. Y'all got 13? Yep. Something like that. There's a little survey since you're talking to me. All right. And you want me to watch your channel. <laughs> oh, I <no. laughs> Now we're bartering. <laughs> you want to be famous? I am, baby. <laughs> oh, she says she is already. Wow. See you later. Where'd you park? Oh, so you parked right in the no parking zone. Perfect. When Bugs gets back and sees the condition of his truck, he's going to be so angry when it's all messy and he can't find anything. He'll yell at you so bad his first day back. <laughs> he will. That's it for now. Yeah, I'll see you in the morning. All right, I'm at Concor. I've been here before. It's been on video. I've been coming here for a long time doing business. Hey, Chuck. No sweepers. Come on. I told you to order in the fall to make sure it was ready in the spring, and you forgot. Tell me the truth. <laughs> the truth of it is. Those things have been on order since November. Uh, second thing on the list, I need I need a new diamond blade for my 14 inch saw. It's a steel, so 20 millimeter or the space. I should probably get a couple extra spacers again, the brass spacers. You wanna take them now? Yeah. So I'm retiring. What? Who's gonna be my go-to guy around here? Scott. Scott? Yep. Well, Scott's all right too. Yeah, he's been here 29 years. I got a question for you with the diamond blade. So. Why is it that there are so many diamond blade salesman guys that drive me absolutely crazy? Is it really lucrative or something? What's the deal with that? A lot of those guys, what they do is they it's a bait and switch type of thing. Okay. You 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 buy. They say I got I you know I got the deal for you, mm -hmm. and they give you two real good high end blades and. And then you use them and they cut real good. And then the next time you order from them, you say, well, give me six of these or whatever. And then you get six that have less diamond concentration in them. Now it makes sense. And then they don't work as good and they're making more money on them. Mm -hmm. Well, the diamond so, blades you sell me are always fine. Yeah, I'm always happy well, with the, them. The th That's why I like buying my blades here is because you guys have a sawing company. You guys know what blades work well and yeah, you, you yeah. know what to sell me. So that's why I buy them yeah. here. Whatever happened to that mortar mixer that I sold you last year? Did it work out for you? So you laid all block for your basement, hey? I laid, I laid it all, yep. Nice. Well, if I don't see you again, yeah. man, it was yeah. it was really nice doing business with you through all these yeah, years. Thanks. Congratulations on the retirement. Have fun up north. Yep. All right, I'm pulling into Dunkin' Donuts. I started a diet on Monday. It's Wednesday. This is my third day in, and I'm starting to feel it. I can tell that. I'm burning more calories than I'm taking in and I'm starting to feel hungry. It's 2.40 in the afternoon and one of the things that's worked for me in the past is to have a cup of coffee in the afternoon when you start to feel hungry. It just seems to hit the spot and it doesn't have many calories. Just put a little bit of cream in there, it's fine, it's not a big deal. I know some of you are like, man, you mentioned a diet like 10 times already. 50 pounds by the end of the summer. Hola, senor. Hey. 
I'll just take a large with four cream. Large cup of coffee? Yes, sir. Dunkin' Donuts. I guess they just call themselves Dunkin' now. But it's pretty good coffee. I like it. I always have. Definitely better than the alternative Starbucks. All right, just picking up Joanna from school, and that'll be the end of our day. I see her already. Hi, Joanna. Hi. How was your day? Good. Did you learn anything? Yes. You did? Yeah. Wow, what did you learn? Well, we had testing today and a few things. All right. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Here, I'm gonna go home and edit some video and do a few bids. Probably gonna do my first workout on that rowing machine tonight. I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, get ready. We're gonna pour some concrete tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Adios.